We recently completed our music video for Hexes, which is taken from our latest album, Polaris. Here's a short video overview of how we went about the process of producing the video. For me, Hexes is based upon a vivid dream, a distant memory, and of a secret shared between two people. There's a very personal nature to it, and there's an attachment. And we really wanted to make sure that the song and the visuals were cohesive. The original idea for the video came from a CG scene which was created by Eric Kalsbeek, who is formerly of the metal band Textures. Adapted by Amos, the idea was to have two figures facing each other with an obsidian orb between them. And this became the premise for the video to evolve around. Uh, and we created four worlds that exist within the orb. The world consisted of a performance element space scene to accompany the CGI, a dark water world performance, an abandoned memory room, and an orb-like world for our good friend and featured artist Martin Grech to perform in. The space scene was filmed at the Leicester National Space Centre. Uh, they have an exhibition of a mock-up of the Columbus module from the International Space Station, and this is where we filmed that very scene. The space itself was very small and it was covered in unwanted exhibits, so masking and lighting were used to cover these points and create a more realistic space. And we only had three hours for setup and filming, so it was really important to experiment with that space quickly to find out what felt right, not only with the lighting, but also with um, my performance. Uh, we used a jib to provide smooth cinematic shots and a sense of weightlessness. And the scene was also shot in 4K resolution, which was needed to rotate the shots in post-production, providing um, a slight disorientation and anti-gravity effect to the shots. Afterwards, the shots were then graded to add starkness and contrast. The water scene was probably the most ambitious of all the shoots, because the idea was to have um, my body lying half in and out of the water, and to then rotate the shots 90 degrees, so that it felt like the body was standing on a wall of vertical water. At first, we thought we could do this by just floating my body on the water, but after a few tests we realised that we needed some resistance in order to give it the energetic performance it needed. And we actually made a prototype which was um, made out of a reinforced adjustable ironing board that was then strengthened. We actually filmed these shots in an old 1920s Art Deco hotel that had just the right temperature and a consistent depth throughout it. And because we were filming for four hours, um, it really needed to be at least 30 degrees. We then used diving lights, which were placed underneath my body in the water to create the backlighting that you can see. Performance-wise, it was really hard trying to lift my body out of the water whilst singing. And at the same time I was doing this, there was actually a wedding in the room upstairs above us that was providing a really interesting and surreal soundtrack to the shoot. Yeah. Wicked. Nice. Nice one. In the edit of the video, the shots were graded and cropped to remove the unwanted parts, and then rotation was applied to continue the theme throughout the video. The idea with the abandoned farm was to create a room that was full of memories and we wanted a red string to be wrapped around the room to create a web, um, something that I could perform and interact with. We found the perfect farm, but the problem was that it wasn't accessible by road. There was no electricity, no power, and it was literally in the middle of nowhere. Uh, what we had to do is borrow uh, the farmers 4x4 four four just to get <laughs> Smash over that. We actually dressed that scene using um, old uh, furniture, broken chairs, old sheet music, maps, books, 
and, uh, and red wool was used as the thread wrapped around the room in a big web. After the bulk of that shoot was complete, the final shots were then for me to rip down the web um, to provide some real energy for the finale of the track. And in post-production, more rotation was added uh, with grading to bring out the red string, but also desaturate the other colours in the scene. Martin's shoot was in a studio in Bristol on an old Dutch barge. Um, the idea for that scene was to have him in a bubble, floating in abyss, and looking in on the water scene. Um, so what we had to do was get hold of an inflatable orb, um, the kind that are used for zorbing, um, and we had to inflate it. And the way to inflate it was you had to actually get inside the orb to start with in the deflated shell and then inflate it with a high powered air pump which was uh, which was really interesting. Martin had about 15 minutes inside the orb before he started to suffer from a lack of oxygen, heat exhaustion um, and he needed to take regular breaks. We needed a few shots from inside the orb as well and uh, from Martin's point of view and actually getting a cameraman and a singer in a fairly small orb and then inflating it was really entertaining to watch. We had moving headlights and uh, a strobe was used and that really added movement to the orb. And in post-production again, the sides of the room were cropped out. There was rotation, uh, water effects and grading. And the final scenes were then composited into others in the video. The CGI scene was actually created by Eric Kalsbeek, um, but it was then adapted by George and also Andrew Brewer. And then it was animated using Cinema 4D alongside Octane Renderer. Background was actually influenced by Stanley Kubrick's 2001 Space Odyssey. Once the basic look of the scene was decided in still form, animation was then added using wireframes to create the different camera moves for the scenes, adding pans, zooms and uh, more rotation. Once these were timed to fit the video, we then added texture and colour. The render times for these scenes were absolutely huge, taking days to create a single scene. We're really proud of this video. Um, I, I personally feel like it is the best music video that we have produced as a band um, in terms of the cohesiveness between the concept and the visual. It really was a big collaboration between Eric, Amos, the rest of the guys in Tesseract, Martin for his wonderful contributions, uh, George, Tom and myself and we really hope you enjoy it as much as we did making it. <laughs>